Hello boys and girls, Fence Feet here for a very, uh, very, very long overdue computer video. Um, you know, I haven't been quite as lazy as most of you probably think. I've actually been pretty diligent about making some videos for you guys that I had all planned out and everything, but, uh, well, they all kind of got deleted, for lack of a better words. Well, breaking my flash drive that had all the videos on it that I was trying to upload. But, um, so needless to say, that was kind of discouraging. And, um, I stopped making <laughs> videos from that point on. Um, that was about, like, six months ago. Um, but since then, I've actually started, um, getting really into my own, I guess you could say, computer building business thing, whatever. Just here in my room. Doo -doo -doo. With me, myself, and I, building computers, those guys, and these guys. Um, but yeah, so, um, as it so happens, uh, this is actually my 25th computer build for a client, um, and being the 25 is kind of a, you know, landmark number or whatever, I just thought that I'd break the laziness strain and get over myself and stop complaining and make a video for you guys, so we could, uh, share the experience together and whatever the hell you want to call it. But um anyways, um so let's get down to the, some of the parts. Um this particular client um wasn't looking for a good gaming computer or anything. They just wanted something that would last them a really long time. Um because they weren't planning on upgrading anytime soon after this, like ever. Well I mean they will but not for a very long time. So I just went off of that and did the best I could. So starting in the chassis, uh we got an Antec three hundred case it's a uh, like a mid-size tower mid tower ATX case it's a step below the 900 and the 1200 as you can see it's relatively medium sized um, first time I've worked with it um, seems like a pretty solid case but we'll see how that goes um, you got an AMD Phenom 2 um, X4 955 processor here Let's see if I can focus on it. 955 processor I'm also the first time I've worked with that guy um, I've always been kind of an Intel junkie. Um, ever since I got my Q9450, um, so I haven't worked, I've kind of been out of touch with the whole AMD deal, so it'd be kind of cool working with them again, so we'll see how that goes, it be refreshing. Um, as far as the power supply goes, you got a OCZ 700 watt Mod Extreme Pro. Um, it's modular power supply. First time I've worked with it. Um, I've worked with OCC power supplies before, but never a modular one, so we'll see how that goes. Um, the motherboard, we got an MA790 XT UD4P from Gigabyte. I personally love the UD um, series from Gigabyte for many different reasons. Um, I'll go into that later, but great, great motherboard, I'm sure of it. Never used it before this specific model, but I'm convinced it'll probably be great. Um, as I said before about the graphics card, this person is not going to be doing any high-end gaming or anything, so nothing, no need to go crazy. It's got a 4670 from XFX, pretty tiny box as you can tell. Um, and in fact, this graphics card is probably maybe even overkill for this person, but you know, it's hard for someone like me with two 4890s on what to put in my old computer. More about that later. Anyways, um, but so yeah, it's for someone like me, I couldn't really go without giving a dedicated graphics card, so what with that one? It's pretty cheap and seemed like a good deal. Um, and then as far as RAM, we got some G-Skill tri-channel memory. It's a DDR3 1600 RAM. Um, kind of pointless, this tri-channel, because as of now, currently um, the AM3 platform for um, AMD doesn't support tri-channel. It only goes up to dual-channel. Um, so, in effect, all three of these modules actually default to single channel, so it's kind of pointless, but the person wanted six gigabytes of memory, and so it's kind of inevitable. Um, but it's alright, so we'll see how that goes. They're not going to notice the speed difference. Uh, as far as the disk drive, just your generic, nothing special, you know, LG, rewritable disk drive, whatever. Um, and then for a hard drive, we got a Western Digital 750 gigabyte drive. Just from their green caviar. Once again, nothing really that special. Just, you know, lots of storage. Um, and then on to the cooling. 
gotta, that's right, Thermalright Ultra 120 Extreme. Oh, but not just any Thermalright Ultra 120 Extreme. That's right, I decided to move on and go to bigger and better things. Um, so, giving this guy a new home was great for me. I'm planning on overclocking this thing a little bit, so you're just fine. Um, I decided to, after about two years of having it, kind of take a little leap into the other side and I'm going to give the new Corsair H50 a try. So that's what's coming up next, but more on all my little upgrades. This is my little stash here. More on that later. But for now, this build. Okay, so um, that should be everything, but so we'll get all this stuff put together, um, and then we'll see the end result and check out some reviews on it, or I will do some reviews on it. So coming up soon.